Do you remember The Lady Eve? What about Double Indemnity? These are just two of the great films produced during Hollywood's golden age. One of these things that they had in common was they both starred Barbara Stanwyck. Barbara Stanwyck made strides in both film and TV. She played a variety of roles and established herself as a talented leading lady and character actress. She passed away in 1990 and left behind a significant body of work. It wasn't an easy journey, and she had to overcome many hurdles to become one of Hollywood's most prominent actresses. Keep watching to learn about what happened to Barbara Stanwyck, who gave everything to acting. Early Life Barbara Stanwyck was born Ruby Catherine Stevens in Brooklyn on July 16, 1907. She wasn't from a showbiz family, and her early life was full of tragedy and struggles. Her mother died when Ruby was only four. She had been pushed off of a moving streetcar and died immediately. Ruby's father couldn't deal with the grief of losing his wife and eventually abandoned his children. As a result, young Ruby had to learn to take care of herself at a young age. She was mostly raised by her elder sister, who was a showgirl. However, most of the time, Ruby was left to her own devices and had to navigate through life without adult supervision. She quit school in her early teens and began her career as a chorus girl. In 1926, she performed as a cabaret dancer in a Broadway production of The Noose. It was around this time Ruby adopted the stage name Barbara Stanwyck. The stage name was inspired by a theatrical poster that read Jane Stanwyck in Barbara Fritchie. Before we tell you more about Barbara Stanwyck's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Early Career Barbara began her film career in 1927, playing a dancer in the film Broadway Nights. In 1929, she acted in the film The Locked Door. These performances went along with her stage performances in Broadway productions. She soon moved to Hollywood to further her film career. She found a few bit parts in a couple of small films, but managed to get her big break in the Frank Capra film Ladies of Leisure. She played the lead role of Kay Arnold, a beautiful woman with a mysterious past. The role was unusual for the time and established her as an actress who could play tough and flawed women. Her beauty was also one of the attractions of the film. In fact, director Frank Capra once remarked he was so smitten by Barbara Stanwyck, he wanted to marry her. It was clear she was a combination of beauty and talent. She starred in several other popular films of the 30s, including Ten Cents a Dance, Night Nurse, Ladies They Talk About, and Annie Oakley. The Highest Paid Woman in America By the 1940s, Barbara Stanwyck was one of the most in-demand actresses in Hollywood. In 1941, she played Jean in Preston Sergis's romantic comedy The Lady Eve, alongside Henry Fonda. The film remains one of Hollywood's most popular romantic comedies and is among Preston Sturgis's best. Barbara Stanwyck's character is considered one of the best female characters in a romantic comedy. The film also showed she had a knack for comic roles and not just drama. She continued to be hailed as a beauty icon after The Lady Eve was released. It was clear she could play roles in which her beauty could entice men and even manipulate them. In other words, Barbara Stanwyck was perfect for playing the femme fatale character, which was now becoming very popular. The 1940s was the age of film noir, mystery films that had lurid themes controversial for the time. In 1944, she played Phyllis Dietrichson in Billy Wilder's film noir Double Indemnity. This remains one of her best roles and one of her best films. In the film, Phyllis plays the wife of Mr. Dietrichson, played by Tom Powers. She has an affair with an insurance salesman, Walter Neff, played by Fred McMurray. She seduces him and convinces him to help murder her husband. Barbara Stanwyck was reported to have earned $400,000 in 1944. This led to her becoming the highest paid woman in America. Television Career Barbara continued her film career throughout the 50s. In the latter half of the decade, she switched her focus to working in TV. She began with several roles on the show Zane Grey Theatre, based on the stories written by Zane Grey. She also had a short-lived anthology series called The Barbara Stanwyck Show. Each episode featured her character overcoming obstacles. There were hopes that some of the episodes could serve as pilot episodes for spin-off TV series, though none came to fruition. But she did get an Emmy for her performance in the series. In the 1960s, she played Lieutenant Agatha Stewart on two episodes of the popular crime show The Untouchables. She also played several roles in different episodes of the Western series Wagon Train. 
Her biggest TV hit was the Western series The Big Valley, in which she played Victoria Barkley. She later had a role in the miniseries The Thornbirds and played Constance Colby in Dynasty and its spinoff The Colbys. By the 70s and 80s, her focus was solely on acting in TV shows and TV movies. She was able to successfully transition and make an impact in this new medium. She received an Emmy Award for her performances in The Big Valley and The Thornbirds. Barbara Stanwyck's Legacy So what can you learn from Barbara Stanwyck's career? It's that you can achieve anything if you persevere. Barbara Stanwyck gave everything to acting and was dedicated to her craft. Her childhood was difficult, and it seemed unlikely that someone from her background could reach such remarkable heights. She was a huge advocate for self-reliance and perseverance. She was also outspoken about her political views and was a huge critic of President Franklin Roosevelt's push for government assistance. She believed working hard to attain rewards was the quote-unquote American way, and her life was an example that anyone could achieve in America if they worked hard enough. It's no wonder Barbara was a huge fan of author Ayn Rand. She read her novel The Fountainhead and convinced producer Jack Warner to purchase the rights to the book. This was before the novel became a huge bestseller. She would later write to Ayn Rand to express her admiration for her novel Atlas Shrugged. No doubt the ideals of objectivism expressed in Ayn Rand's books struck a chord with Barbara's own ideals. In 1944, she joined the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. This organization was dedicated to preserving the American way of life and combating the ideas of communism, especially in America's influential film industry. Barbara's performances serve as an inspiration for any actress who wants to play empowered, complex, and flawed characters. She wasn't afraid to play controversial characters or appear in controversial films. Many of her films challenged the censors and social attitudes of the time. One of her earliest controversies was the film Night Nurse, released in 1931. It was shocking because it showed her in lingerie and even showed the attempted murder of children. This film led to the creation of the Hayes Code, which created strict rules on what was acceptable to show in Hollywood films. Though Barbara was known as a conservative, she wasn't afraid to challenge Puritan ideals of America through her work. Barbara Stanwyck died of congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease on January 20, 1990, at age 82. Her career spanned six decades. She remains an icon of old Hollywood and is an inspiration for many aspiring actresses today. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Barbara Stanwyck role of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.